Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, former lead designer for McFarlane Toys, Toy Biz, Diamond Select. I'm also a comic book creator. And the books you see here are from my company, Mella Art World. Please stay tuned for the end of the video to find out how to get these amazing books. So today we have a Mortal Kombat 11 figure, uh, Noob Cybot, which again, uh, I believe it's the two creators of Mortal Kombat. It's just their names backwards. So it's like Tobias and Boone, Ed Boone. But um, yeah, this figure is uh, actually really cool. I've been sitting on this thing for a few months now. Um, he was in a small pile with some other figures. Uh, I haven't got a chance to actually review him until today. So um, yeah, we're cracking this one open. I'll give you the pros and cons about this. But uh, I will tell you, um, compared to the last McFarlane figures I've been reviewing, uh, this thing is actually really fantastic. Uh, paint application is great. Articulation is really good. It's a very solid figure. Uh, maybe because it is a licensed product. Um, and I, I don't know if the creators of Mortal Kombat there, if, if they had uh, a say in it. But um, yeah, this figure is impressive. So here he is out of the packaging. Um, again, great presence. Overall, beautiful sculpt work on him. And his paint applications are really good. Uh, for a figure that, um, a first, uh, I guess, glance, he's very dark. But uh, that's what the figure is anyway in the games. And uh, this is the new design from Mortal Kombat 11. But uh, I think they did a fantastic job on it. And uh, yeah, the paint applications are beautiful. Uh, we'll punch in, you'll, you'll see uh, like a close-up in more detail and uh, just what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I, I really like this thing. So um, yeah, I hope you do. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So here's what the figure comes with. Uh, your standard Mortal Kombat base, or stand rather. Um, yeah, simple. And uh, he comes with this kind of strange weapon that uh he, in the game he, he whips it out and uh he whips it out <laughs> uh yeah he messes up some people with so uh, i think he has like two or three of them in the game but um yeah you could also throw it and all that other stuff but uh cool little accessory i think it looks really good it was a little bit warped but uh, i'm sure if you get the heat gun you can kind of bend it into place but uh yeah here's also a better look at the figure and uh, what I was talking about with the paint application, uh, he's got like gold on the mask. He's got silver and all kinds of little washes on it uh, that really look great, uh, especially like on the parts that's supposed to be a metal or, uh, you know, mimicking metal rather. But uh, I think they, they did a really stellar job with it. You know, he's got kind of like those browns on him as well, like on the legs, on the upper thighs rather. Um, they just went um, a little bit shy with the paint on, on like the shins and the feet. But other than that, um, this thing is really impressive. I like it a lot. But uh, head articulation, pretty good. Um, it's a ball joint, but I'm sure if you kind of loosen it up, I, I literally just opened them, so the joints are pretty stiff. But um, yeah, the shoulders don't really go up high. Um, but he does have good articulation there anyway, uh, with the bicep cut, the double hinge for the elbow, that slight kind of butterfly cup joint that they did. Uh, he's got the ball joint for the wrist with the hinge. So that's pretty good. And, uh, his torso is fantastic. Beautiful ball joint there. Uh, you get a good crunch, goes back okay. Side to side is good. And he has a slight lower um, waist cut as well. He has uh, some upper thigh movement, which is pretty good. A double hinge for the knee. But uh, the skirt uh, kind of gets in the way. It's a it's, uh, firmer kind of plastic, but uh, you can still move it. Uh, he's got the ball joint for the ankle and toe articulation. So all in all, really solid articulation on this. Here's a photo as well, so you can see the clarity in the paint. And uh, yeah, um, I'm using a McFarlane stand from another figure, kind of get him up in the air and, you know, show you just what else you could kind of do or some of the poses you could get him into. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of that kind of stand, but uh, it's 
it's been doing the job for a lot of these reviews so i can't complain too much on that but uh yeah they could have done a better design <laughs> you're gonna hear it a bunch from me but whatever uh still works okay so um yeah so uh again you can see the great detail nice articulation in him one of the figures that like I, again kind of surprised me because um i didn't play as the character too much in the game but what i did play i, I thought it was pretty cool does good moves uh and this design like i said it's uh, a big departure from previous games of how he looked so and here he is next to the raven spawn since i figured they kind of had a similar aesthetic to them um and you know he's kind of he's a very dark figure so uh, i thought they looked pretty cool together and they do you know um the raven spawn is a bigger figure he's like almost almost a full inch i think taller than him but um again good presence i, I think the two of them look very nice um yeah and and they're both very detailed um I'll, I'll put the link or the end cap video for raven spawn so you could just click on to that one i have gripes with him but i still think he's a cool looking figure uh, but um yeah the uh, noobs uh cybot i'm very very impressed with it uh again fantastic movement beautiful paint beautiful sculpt work yeah thumbs up and here he is with the spawn for mortal kombat 11 uh, I, I got him a while ago, but I figured uh, he's the only other Mortal Kombat figure that I have on hand. I have a few others, but uh, they're a little hard to get to right now. But um, yeah, um, again, they, they work well together. They're in the same line. I think they have about the same amount of detail and sculpt work on them. Um, that spawn figure is probably my favorite spawn figure in, in recent years. Um, way better than what McFarlane did with that Kickstarter project. This thing blows that out of the water. Uh, and again, it's just a solid figure and he comes with one weapon. So, uh, yeah, and it, it's possible to make a fantastic figure without all the uh, bells and whistles and all the other nonsense. But, uh, yeah, there you have that. Um, trying to think. I have a couple other um, Mortal Kombat figures I might review. But uh, let me know in the description if you want to see that as well. But, uh, like I said, wrapping up. Uh, this figure does get a very big thumbs up from me. Um, it was a, a nice surprise, especially that I had him sitting for a while. Um, you know, I, I think I picked him up during the summer. Uh, I, I did one toy run video where I was running into a couple of different stores, and that's when I got him. Uh, and he's been sitting ever since. Uh, there's another figure I'll, I'll be reviewing from NECA that, that's also I got when I picked him up. And I believe this is the last pose for the figure. But uh, again, every little kind of subtle kind of pose you could put him in, uh, it works. You know, you get almost kind of that uh, uh, very dangerous, almost like movie killer type vibe with this dude. Um, that's kind of the design that it looks like they went for. Uh, but it works. It, it works really well. I believe in the game you could also like, uh, there's like a download where you swap him out, uh, like his head and, and other parts of them and you can recreate the uh, batman who laughs uh, that really demented kind of jokerized batman uh which is pretty cool so if you do get the game uh it's a pretty good download you can get uh, again you, you have to kind of play around in the uh, you know changing the look of the character whatever but sorry i'm getting all nerdy on you guys anyway you can look it up but um yeah i, I, I dig it great job uh, and yeah, so remember guys, uh, be kind to one another, be kick-ass while you create. If you'd like to see me do more figures like this, uh, again, let, let me know what figures you're kind of looking for. If you want more more model, Mortal Kombat, if you want more uh, one six scale. Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and uh, we have Through the Woods, hardcover book, written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages, ghost story. Uh, I think everyone's going to love this thing. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one. I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project. Uh, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos. And uh, yeah, so please check this one out. And uh, thank you very much. 
Both of these books are available right now and they ship immediately. So uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, volume one and two. Uh, these are 52 pages each. And it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups, um, yeah, pretty much everything, and the kitchen sink. So uh, yeah, these are also available, and they're on the City of Venus campaign.